Dr. Jackson is helping you live healthy. Many women focus on what they need to eat during their pregnancy, but what you eat after while you're breastfeeding is also very important. You want to make sure that you get specific nutrients such as calcium, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin D. Also very good to eat a variety of foods. This exposes the baby to different tastes. Kelsey Beckman with Meteor Nutrition is here to discuss what foods you should eat while you're breastfeeding and what foods foods you should maybe avoid. So do we have any big no-nos that we need to watch out for? Well, we do want to be careful of the timing. It takes about one to two hours for anything to really clear in our bodies. Mm -hmm. And so really when I have this discussion with new moms that are breastfeeding, I talk more about, you know, maybe limiting and restricting. So of course, alcohol is a, a really, really big thing that we want to try to do some in, in moderation. Um, and that's a completely, um, preference to the mother, whether they're comfortable with doing that or not. So um, always in moderation and then making sure that you're getting the timing of that. And um, caffeine is kind of similar to that. So we want right. to do that in moderation too. So one to two cups, maybe not right around breastfeeding when you know that. Maybe right after you feed, you can yeah. grab a cup of coffee. Sure, sure. Yep. So we know that new moms are tired and they're going to want their coffee. <laughs> um, but maybe after we breastfeed the baby or when you're, you're not planning to yeah. soon. Absolutely. Um, and as far as the alcohol, I know they make those strips too. Is that a good idea if a mom is going to have maybe a sip of wine, you know, the, the testing strips, right. is that maybe the right way to go? That is certainly an extra layer of um, being confident that the baby isn't going to get in their system. Their systems can't break it down anywhere near as quickly as adults can, so. What about any foods? I know I was speaking with you on the break. I breastfed my daughter for almost seven months. Um, in the beginning, people were coming over to the house, visiting her, bringing food. A lot of it was like spaghetti, um, cook, chocolate chip cookies. And then my baby would get super fussy. And um, my sister told me that like foods with um, acid, you know, like obviously pasta sauce mm. and um, chocolate, of course, chocolate chip cookies. She's like, that is bad. Is that true or is that just a myth? Well, we want to think about whatever we're eating is going to end up in the systems of these little tiny bodies. And so um, the more nutritionally dense foods that we can get into our own system that's full of vitamins and minerals, um, you know, the, the more that it's going to carry over into the breast milk. Um, and then just being aware, you were, it seems like you were really attentive to your baby's responses and how they reacted to those foods. So all babies are different. And so just making sure that you do pay attention to the common food allergens, which might be the dairies, um, the nuts, stuff like that, wheat. How about, you know, we talked about calorie intake and, and there's huge pressure to lose that baby weight. Sure. Drop the weight, get your body back. Yeah, but you know, it's hard when you're breastfeeding right. because you need to make sure you're eating enough and eating more calories than normal still to produce the milk. Can you talk about that at all? About like making sure that, yeah, you're eating healthy, but you're eating enough too. Yeah, absolutely. Breastfeeding is very much so what we call an anabolic um, action. And so we're building up nutrients um, so that we can provide milk to the baby. And so um, for the first six months, you know, you're really looking at an average of an extra 400 calories per day. And then if you're exclusively breastfeeding after that, then you might get up to 500 extra calories per day. It's almost like you're eating more than you were when you're pregnant. Sure. I yep. mean, probably close to that last trimester. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you, you aren't able to eat that quite that much, then that might, you know, impact the amount of milk supply. Certainly your energy levels, which you'll need as a new mom, and um, also the kind of nutrients that do carry over into the baby's breast milk. Is there maybe, like, what would you suggest be, like, the best meal for a mom to eat, whether it's, you know, a dinner or whatever that you have in sure. mind that would be good for the baby? You know, there's uh, numerous ways to eat healthy. So it kind of, um, I mean, I would say a meal that the mom enjoys that's full of lean protein, um, whole grains, and a lot of fruits and vegetables, um, because that's going to make sure that the mom is getting extra protein, which is needed with um, breastfeeding, um, really good energy and nutrition in the whole grains, and then tons of antioxidants in the fruits and vegetables. And last question for you real quick. It's okay to take those prenatals still while you're breastfeeding, right? Or vitamins to make sure that your baby's still getting sure. through the breast milk? Yeah, with the, um, a nutritionally dense diet, then that should ensure that you are getting a lot of nutrition. And especially um, if you're not a big fish eater, then you could look into omega-3s, which prenatals yeah. do have, um, but completely fine to do that. Thank you so much for enlightening us. We definitely want to keep everyone healthy out there, especially those little babies. Learn more about nutrition, head to MeteorNutrition.com. We've made it easy for you. We've included a link on our website, newsforjax.com. Just take a look on the Morning Show page.